<laughs> Ladies, I'm excited to have some of this conversation. Um, I just posted a video for those of you who haven't seen it yet, uh, sharing in a somewhat cheeky way, but true for many, uh, an understanding of communicating with the opposite sex, an understanding for communicating with um, heterosexual men uh, who were raised in Western societies. And like clockwork, <laughs> the very thing that men are extremely afraid of, and I'll just give you a little more context. Um, when I'm working with men, I ask them often, raise your hand if you're afraid of your wife, partner, or girlfriend. And often, uh, you know, about half the room raises a hand, the other half, I say, you're lying. And then I give them quite a few examples of ways in which they withhold or hide or um, try to navigate their all-knowing personal development feminist partner who thinks they know fucking everything. And um, in my comments is another version of that. So if that was you commenting about how I, this was a huge miss, why don't you teach men? I hear you and I feel your pain. I do. And it wasn't a miss. There is a enormous amount of truth to how we set up conversations. And um, here's what I didn't say. Often times, because uh, it's the whole, why don't we teach men conversation, right? While simultaneously saying, I want my man to be closer. I want him to open up. Right? He doesn't read the same books as I do, so therefore, he's not. Right? Even the way you're holding men, the idea that men are the dumb ones, are the traumatized ones. What if it's you? What if you're just as fucked up as him? What if the way that you enter these conversations from your pain body and from your righteous indignation creates a scenario where he's looking to keep the peace, where he doesn't feel safe to be in a relationship with you because you think you know everything. You think you're right about everything. What if that righteousness and the idea that you've got it all figured out is exactly the problem and not necessarily him? So this whole idea of teach men to me is a fucking slippery, interesting slope. Yes, we get to teach men and we get to teach women. Yes, we get to point out toxic masculinity and we get to uh, point out the dark fucking deep, ugly femininity that shows up in women who think they know everything. You don't. I get it, you do yoga, so you think you're better than your husband. I get it. I get that there's a lot of gender inequality. Fuck yes, there is. I get that there is an entire rape culture that is not okay. I get that men are responsible for a lot of the violence that occurs on our planet and that we get to step the fuck up. Yes, we do. But what we won't do, what I won't do, is surrender my masculine. What I won't do is allow you to bully me from your um, uh, sort of burn your bras, uh, fuck men mentality. No, fuck you. How about that? From so much love. I did go to Curtis. Let's go. Whoever that is, send me a message. I did go to, uh, to Curtis. Um, and so I just want you to hear me loud and clear. This is not an attack on you, even though I felt your attack on me. And my video was not an attack on women. It was a portal. It was a viewfinder. Do you know what men say behind the scenes? They're fucking scared of you because you pick them apart. You find every little stupid thing to inflate in such a way that when you say, can we talk? It's loaded. We want to be together. Every man I know, the ones I know, the ones I coach, 
They love their partners. And they start to build resentment that leads to resistance, which leads to revenge sometimes. Because of the, uh, the sort of cultural thing here, it doesn't negate that men have issues. It doesn't negate the thing you have to talk about. I said it in the video. It could be true that there's something they did wrong, wrong, as you sit in the uh, one-up position, right? And how we speak to each other matters. And so when you set up a historical conversation of can we talk, right? What I should have said in that video is there's the energetics of it as well. Not only does it... Um, sometimes back men up when you say, can we talk? But it's the energy behind the words. It's, here's another thing that you're gonna be blamed for. Here's another moment where you're gonna experience yourself not being good enough in the eyes of this person. Here's another bar that's gonna be set for you to fucking leap through. Where, where even when you do it, I'm still not gonna acknowledge it. I'm gonna acknowledge what you're not. I'm gonna acknowledge who you're not being. So there's a collective pain. And so we can keep doing the feminist thing and just fucking pushing men away and saying men are terrible. You can do that. Awesome. Go for it. Let's just see how it, fit, how it works. To me, it's not working. To me, it's not working. I have a daughter and I would not like her to grow up in a um, society where rape is prevalent. I have a daughter and I would not like her to fear for her life every time she's out because some out of control asshole that doesn't know how to have, be with his own dick um, could hurt her. So what, you're, what you may be missing is that me sharing anything about uh, masculine, feminine polarity, me sharing anything about men and women dynamics and relationship and things, I'm 10 years in to marriage. Four kids, 10 years, one wife, a lot has occurred. And you can take my quote unquote wisdom and call it bullshit and try to knock me down for, for where I'm coming from because I'm not including gender non-binary and all the other words that you want me to include. But right now I'm talking to, for the most part, people in men and women dynamic relationships. So if that offends you, I get it. You're not excluded for, for overall, but this is what I care about right now. And what you won't do is come on my page and try to punk me out of what I'm sharing because it's my truth. Mm. How good is life? How good is love, right? Because underneath all of this is just pain. There's so much pain. We want to pay them back. Let me correct the men. Let me spank the men. Let me get the men in line. But does shame help that? Does it? So, again, you can uh, take this or leave it. But for all of you who left those bullshit ass comments from the ones that were attacky, right? Not the ones who, you could disagree. But the ones that were attacky, this is for you. Blessings and blessings, beautiful soul. I'm going right back to work, right back to work. Love you so much. I'm going to post this so that I can just, you can just head over here. Thank you. I love you. Peace, y'all.